This was a tank I was anticipating for a while, but once I actually got into the game, it was a bit disappointing. This is the Israeli M51 Super Sherman, and it basically trades the stabilizer for a 105 cannon. One that fires heat. You would think that would be pretty powerful at 6.0, but the damage is very inconsistent. So yeah, let's take it out and see how I do. This map has a lot of foliage, which is not ideal for heat. This is also probably not the best camo to use for this map. Tan does tend to stand out against green. You might notice that it's also a lot slower than a regular Sherman. It should be a little faster than it currently is in the game, but when it comes to Gaijin bug reports, what can you do, right? There's somebody. I'm gonna guess it's like... Yep. <laughs> Man, it's always so nice killing a puma. I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I really hate them. Hello. I've found that generally the best way to play this is as a sniper. The heat's velocity isn't great, but you will go through anything that you actually hit. Okay, I think C is alright. We are not doing so hot over here, though. This is probably a very bad idea. Get him, R3, get him. Yeah. He actually helped. Oh my god, he lived? He survived that? That was supremely lucky. <laughs> Look at the massive mark on our turret. Oh my goodness. And our teammate just bombed the R3. Ooh! <laughs> right in the ammo. Oh, it was full ammo. Typical German player, but still. I couldn't even, like, see that guy, really. Is that a guy? It is. This tank is so dark that I couldn't tell for a second. The attempt on my life has left me scarred and deformed. As cool as this camo looks, I feel like it's not great for any environment, really. This is a very aesthetically pleasing tank, I will say. The barrel is comically large, but still. I think this should be a pretty good spot. What's our gun depression like? That's actually not too bad. I was expecting such a huge cannon in a Sherman turret to be a bit more limiting. Actually, is our velocity low enough that we can arc shots over hills? How did that not pen? <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. I'm so smart. <laughs> right in the ammo. Oh my lord. No thanks. No thank you. They're really trying their best to hit me. Yep. Nope. Oh, did we just bounce something? How? <laughs> this is just a slaughter. Okay, I'm not sure what that was, but it turned my entire crew red and orange. Which I am not too happy about. Not so fast. This is going to be very enjoyable. Or not. The damage is pretty inconsistent. Thank you. Why? <laughs> Every time, man. Every time I'm a bomb magnet. I don't even have that many kills. Look, see? Three. It's like, hmm, should we go bomb the people taking the cap, or should we bomb this random guy just minding his own business on a hill? Which one is more helpful, I wonder? Uh, 
I thought he was waiting for me to pass so he could flank me, but no, apparently he's really oblivious. Well, this is just the worst cap to try and take. There's no cover, and they can shoot you practically from their spawn. This match is putting me to sleep. Not very exciting. Can this match end already? It's putting me to sleep. Or maybe that's the Benadryl I took earlier. Could be either one, really. <laughs> In the business we call that smoked. That's a pretty good match. I can't wait for one of these many bushes to eat my round. Hello? Goodbye. Got him. I am getting very fortunate with uh, hitting ammo and crew today. The shell is a bit of a paradox because you don't have to aim, but at the same time you do. Like you will go through wherever you hit, but you also need to hit very critical areas. It's not like APHE where you can just wing it and get a kill. And before you guys start writing a bunch of comments, yes, I understand that concept and I've understood it for a while, I'm just explaining it to newer players. There really is just nothing going on, huh? Oh. I take it back. A Chinese M36? Where is that coming from? That concerns me a great deal. Well, hopefully if this guy gets shot, he will uh, give away his location. Or he could get shot by someone completely different. Yeah, I would say he's, uh, very dead. Now, where is this M36 at? Hello, Mr. M36? Are you around here somewhere? It would be funny if he died, like, ages ago and I just never noticed. You know, he's definitely still alive. Oh, I see him. There we go. Very anticlimactic game. This is a fairly leisurely vehicle to play, I think. I really wish the Israelis put like a 700 horsepower engine in this or something. Make it a lot better. Can I just like steal someone's engine? Like go up to the wreck of a Tiger 2 and yoink? Sorry if I seem very lethargic. Uh, I think the Benadryl is definitely affecting me. Well, that's certainly no good. Are you... <laughs> are you for real? No thanks. Return to sender. Please, uh, reload faster. Oh, buddy. You whiffed real bad. <laughs> VKs are causing a lot of property damage right now. Ow. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> Please reload faster. Yeah, I'm dead. Well, there's a PT-76 on C. That uh, scares me quite a lot, actually. Making it my mission to kill this guy. There he is. What's up? Oh. Um. How is this thing not dead yet? Are you... <laughs> okay. I do believe that a couple of heat shells would have absolutely crumpled that guy, but... 
Okay. I think in most cases I would trade the extra pen for more damage. So I don't really get the complaints about heat at uh, lower BRs. What are you? Panzer IV? I don't know what your plan is. Why would you not just keep rolling and deploy some smoke? Doesn't make any sense. Yes, I will swing to face you and then deploy smoke so that I can blind myself. Can I get a shot on this guy? Yes. Goodbye. Oop. I'm not the brightest. I was, like, searching for that Yak Panther, but he was scouted the entire time. Gee, if only I had looked at my map. Oh, hello. Very glad that we took out everything we needed to. It seems like if you aim a bit right of center mass on Tigers, usually it takes out all the crew you need to. There's a panther around here somewhere. Yep, there he is. Massive whiff. Teammate still got him, though. I'm doing something that I usually don't try to do, which is taking the cap before I've cleared it of bad guys. Oh my god. Thank god for heat. Uh. Okay. Thank god the panther has no APHE filler. Why is the back half of my tank just uh, being absorbed into the ground? Is my teammate AFK? Dude. <laughs> Please help. Oh, he's dead. Oh, this is terrible. Hi. Okay, I, I think we can still pull this off. My team is not being very helpful right now. Something right in front of me. Nice, satisfying little turret pop. Get back here. Are you... for real? Another tiger. I think I can take both of them, but it's gonna be a bit tricky. Well, he definitely knows I'm here now. That was... So lucky. It barely killed his gunner. Oh wow, that actually killed him. I was just trying to disable. <laughs> Pumas, man. Another tiger. I don't understand how my team is losing against a bunch of Tiger players that aren't that good. I do have 10 kills though, that's pretty nice. I'm no longer trying to take the enemy cap, my objective now is to survive. Damn, dude. I tried so hard, but <laughs> my team is just the worst. So yeah, that's the M51 Super Sherman. It's a good vehicle, but it's not great, if that makes sense. It can cut through anything, but your aim has to be very precise. And it is very fat. I think I would take the Stabilizer in 76 over this any day. But yeah, it's an alright vehicle, if you want to grind Israel. Anyway, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.